Hey everybody, what's up? It's Kiki, and I'm coming to you guys today because I was asked to show my MAC blush collection. Um, I've had more I've sold in like different sales that I've had. So I'm basically down to the ones that I love. So um, I'm going to show you guys my blushes as well as my mineralized skin finishes that I have. My, up first is this blush palette right here. So this color right here is Burnt Pepper, which you guys know I love. It's my favorite MAC blush. It is a pro blush. You can only get it through pro website, pro stores. I am not a pro card member, so I pay it full price for this. But if you're a pro member, you get it for a discounted price and stuff like that. But you can still purchase pro items, just not at the pro price. Okay, so that is Burnt Pepper. This is Rhubarb. I th hope I'm saying it right. I think that's it. Rhubarb. And this is also a pro item, which you can only get from a pro store or a pro site or whatever. And that is that uh, fuchsia, hot fuchsia color right there. This is warm light highlight, which is also a pro. This almost, well, yeah, I did. When I went to the pro store, I just got all those. But yeah, this is pro store as well. And this is Amber and Rose, which is not a pearl item. You can get this anywhere, um, any MAC counter. And this was probably, I think this was my first MAC blush. This and Raisin. This right here is Devil Blush, and this is also a pearl item. And it is a reddish brick orange, red brick orange, yeah. Very, 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 very nice color. It kind of reminds you of um, NARS Exhibit A. I had them both. I decided to keep this one so I took exhibit A bag. And this one is my second favorite blush. Well, it's really a tie depending on what I want. If I want more dramatic cheek, I'll use burnt pepper. If I want a more neutral cheek, I'll use copper tone. Copper tone. I love it. Love it. And that is a regular MAC blush. So yeah, these are my first six blushes. Okay, next, this is my next, shit. This is my first blush palette that I had. So, if you guys can see it. Um, this right here is Blunt, MAC Blunt. And I bought this to contour with, but it's not my color. It doesn't contour for me. So, I use it as a crease color when I do eyeshadow. So, yeah, that's blunt. The next one is Notable. It came out with some collection. I don't remember. I don't remember what collection it came out. But it's like a pinky or dusty pink, dusty rose pink. So, I like that. This is Raisin. But it's kind of hard to use because when I deposited it, the heat kind of damaged it. I mean, it's still usable. But... And you gotta really, really try to use it. So, and then this one that I had the bottom that don't want to stay in is sweet as cocoa. This was the one that I was on the hunt for. I went to Mac, Mac counter after Mac counter after Mac counter when I first start really getting into Mac blushes. Hell, when I start getting into Mac, I got into Mac everything at the same time. So, um, I was on the hunt for this one, and then I found it at one Mac counter in Bloomingdale's, I think. So, yeah. Um. And that one is very, very nice for brown girls. Then I have another raisin, which I refuse to depot because I don't want it to do what that one did. But raisin is just a nice... Y'all know I have the damnedest time at explaining or describing things. Like scents and colors and all that kind of stuff. It, girl. But, um, yeah, raisin. It's like a row of uh, shit raisin, <laughs> and this is a matte. My favorite matte, my favorite blushes are mattes and sheer tones. I think it's sheer tone. Yeah, mattes and sheer tone, sheer tone shimmer. Um, so that's raisin. Up next, I have dirty plum, which um, after that blush did that, I stopped depotting them. So I still have quite a few. Well, I still have a few that's in the pot. And this would actually fill up my palette if I deposit them, but I'm scared, y'all. I'm scared. So, this is Dirty Plum, which is a purplish, plummy color. 
I have the one from the Liberty of London. This is matte. I believe this is a permanent color or a pro color. Don't make me lie. But yeah, I like this one a lot. And up next is Bite of an Apple, which is a matte. And this came out in the Venomous Villains collection. And it is a corally pink reddish color. It's not coral peach. It's more like coral pinky red. So, yeah, got this. And as far as my blushes, um, the burnt pepper, copper tone, um, raisin, amber and rose, and dirty plum are my all-time favorites. So if you can get any of them in your my complexion, maybe a little bit darker, maybe a little bit lighter. I don't know about too light. And I don't know about uh, very dark so I don't know but those are the ones that I love those are my absolute favorite blushes out of all the blushes I own even other brands those are my go-to blushes I'll wear those before I grab any other blush so that and then I have this mineralized blush which is light over dark and it is a duo it has a taupey color mineralized color blush on this side and then a highlighting it's like a peachy gold highlight color on this side oh I did that mm -hmm. so yeah and I love this to highlight I never wear it as blush I usually do it to highlight and like it'll be my favorite and then I'll stop using it and then when I use it again I'm like damn why did I stop using that so light over dark I love that I have this blush which I have yet to wear yet <laughs> And it is a set in this Amazon Princess. It came out with the Wonder Woman collection. Y'all know this one is a duo as well. It's pink and it has like a mauve color purple on the other side. So, yeah. And this one came with a mirror and all that. Part of the Wonder Woman collection. Um, I have one blush ombre because the other one I had I sold it in a sale. And this is Ripe Peach. This came out with the Spring Color Forecast Collection about two, three years ago. And it fades from a pinky to a coral to a light peach color. Yeah, I used to wear this thing to death. I used to love this. Still love it. I just haven't reached for it in a while. Um, I have this which is um, not really a blush, but it's Marine Life Highlight Powder. Now, as far as this, this, a few of these, I know they were like the go-to thing to get, so I went and got them, and I still haven't used them yet. <laughs> I used this one once, and this is Marine Life, and it has like a coral color, and then it goes into a pinky color right there. It's called Highlight Powder, but girl, how you gonna highlight with this? color right here so I hope you guys can see that so yeah got that I also got this what is it from the surf baby collection see I knew this was like a big ticket item or a yeah big ticket item that everybody wanted to get so I got it still haven't used this year and this is my paradise which is a cheek powder which is a blush and it is a coral orangey color so I'll use this one though. still sitting in the box and that's that um then I have a few just a few mineralized skin finishes I had more but I sold them in the sale because I wasn't using them or they wasn't the ones that you know I really really liked I have this one which is golden lariat this big huge thing which came from the Wonder Woman collection. Now I love to use this and this together as a cheek highlight or I'll try to use just a dark a little bit for a mineralized skin finish but it's kind of darker than my normal MSF so I don't really use it for that but if I mix those two together I get like a nice little highlight and I haven't used the peachy coral side of it yet so that. Um, I have Comfort, if you guys remember, as soon as I got it, I dropped it and broke it. And I use it for a highlight, but ever since I broke it, I haven't been, like, I didn't want to use it no more after it dropped and broke. And that was when I first got it, so, yeah. 
I got Comfort, which is a MSF mineralized skin finish, and it just gives a nice glow. I have another MSF, which was a big item that everybody was going to when this collection came out. I don't remember what collection. This is Stereo Rose. It was re-released. It hadn't been released in like four or five years, and then they re-released it. So I got this, and I've used it twice just to highlight on top of a coral blush. Whenever I use like a coral blush, I highlight just the top of my cheeks with this. And this is Stereo Rose. And then I have a bronzer one bronzer from MAC and this is bronze and it's a bronzer powder and it's just a bronzer like that. and I don't use it to like contour and bronze like that I'll just you know put it at the top of my forehead down my nose it's more like a highlight if you ask me but I don't know it just brings a nice glow to my face so I love to use this especially like in the summertime I don't know why I always wait till the summertime but when I do use it I'll be like oh yeah I love that so that's my MAC blush and plus MAC blush and MSF, MAC blush bronzer, you know, that's my little collection and my faves for my skin tone. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys like if you do your blush collection, doesn't have to be MAC, do a video response, leave it below. Um, tell me what some of your favorite MAC blushes, maybe I'll go try those out as well and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.